And now, Death Valley Days. Howdy, folks. I'm the old ranger, and I have another interesting true story for you about the historic Death Valley country. This is a story of the famous boundary dispute between California and Nevada, and some of the personal complications that arose out of it. It's called Which Side of the Fence? Back in the very early days, nobody knew just where California left off and Nevada began, until the year 1860, when the Esmeralda load was discovered and the mine and town of Aurora was born. Was Aurora in the state of California or in the territory of Nevada? Until the question was settled, there was bound to be problems. For Aurora was rich, so rich the bank was bulging with silver and gold. And Aurora was lawless. Something's got to be done about this. Innocent people get killed and no law officer in this town to put a stop to it. Yeah. Well, we can't elect one until we know what state we're in. That's right. Then I'll get up a petition and settle this once and for all. Well, I've got 300 signatures on the petition. Now, after you get your father's and mine, I'll mail it to Sacramento. You'll never get them both, Martin. If one signs, the other will refuse on general principles. Have those two parents of ours ever agreed on anything in all the time they've been partners? Yes. One thing. Oh, yeah. Us, unfortunately. It's easy to see why she's so crazy about my Martin. He's one man in a million. Well, he happens to be your son. And no son of yours is going to marry a daughter of mine. Yeah, well, that goes both ways. Yeah, now, look at here, Mike, Miss B. My Mary Ann. Yes, it's your Mary Ann, and blood will tell. It sure will. Yeah. That's why I ain't giving my consent. Ha! Say, I was the one that objected first. Picked you as a partner, I'll never know. Why, you picked me. Why, I picked you. You did not. I sure did. I picked you. You did not. I did, too. I can remember just as plain. It was the day you got married. You was broke. I, I wasn't any more broken than you was. No? Then why did you borrow the money from me to buy the wedding ring? Good why? morning. Well, what are you doing with hey, him? Hey, what are you doing with her? Believe it or not, I'm here on business. I've got a little petition for you gentlemen to sign. Petition? What kind of a petition? Asking the state to create a new county around here that'll take in Aurora. Give us protection. What state? Oh, California, of course. But Aurora don't lay in California. It's in Nevada. Nobody knows just where the line runs. They haven't got around to surveying it yet. In the meantime, we've got to have law and order here. And California's the one that can give it to us. Here, let me put my John Hancock on there. Come on, you want to try this? No, not me. As a good Republican, I'm sticking to Nevada. Now you listen to me. You listen to me, Mike Abyssin. Never mind, never mind. I have plenty of signatures already. Yeah, yeah, yourself. And they're talking all the time. Get to work. Work? What are you talking about? I dug this hole for myself. If it hadn't been for me, this hole never would have been dug. The thing 
Maggie, I can't understand it's how such an ornery cuss as your father ever had a daughter like you. Well, I could say the same thing about your father. Well, he's just as stubborn as an... No, no, don't let us start arguing, darling. Well, well, scoop for the Aurora Star. Miss Mary Ann King and Mr. Martin Bisbee announced their wedding plan. Now, no funny business, George. Please, George. Sorry, news is news. Well, I've got some political news for you. Citizens of Aurora signed petition asking for a new California county. And I've got some political news for you. Aurora citizens also signed petition asking Nevada for a new county. Well, hello there, Jonah. Did you hear the news about the new county? Mona County, California. Now, you're crazy. Esmeralda, Nevada. Aurora's going to be new county seat. What are you talking about? It says right there in the Sentinel, California legislator creates new Mona County. What? Right here. Right here in the front page of the Star, Governor Nye of Nevada creates new Esmeralda County in Nevada Territory. Hey, what goes on here, Albert? Yeah, a little joke among you newspaper fellas? No joke, Jonah. I can assure you. Does that mean that we're going to have two counties here, Jim? That's right, Micah. We've gone from a famine to a feast. And from here on, don't forget, my friends, you'll get all the news of Aurora in the Esmeralda Star, Nevada's finest newspaper. Nevada can have it. Aurora, California can get all the news it wants from the Mono Sentinel. Mono. I like that name. Means monkey. Monkey? <laughs> Did you hear that, Micah? You certainly didn't make monkeys out of yourself joining up with California. <laughs> Why, it means nothing of the kind. Mono means alone. Well, that's fitting, too. All alone on the losing side. As a fellow resident of Mono County, Mr. Bisbee, you might be interested in knowing that there's going to be an election for sheriff held shortly. And I've got my eye on just the man for the job. Did you hear that, Jonah? We're going to have a California sheriff yeah. here. No California sheriff's going to have jurisdiction over me. I'm a resident of Nevada. Martin, I think it's wonderful you being sheriff of Mono County. I'm not elected yet, remember. But Jim Butler of the Mono Sentinel talked me into running. Oh, with the Sentinel backing you, you're sure to win. I can just see a star there. Oh, I think it's wonderful. What did your dad say when he found out? Oh, he doesn't know yet. Well, it's been on all the papers. Only the Mono Sentinel. He wouldn't be caught dead reading that Democratic sheet. Man, my old man wouldn't look at the star. How is it all going to turn out? For us? And them. And everybody. Depends on where the boundary line runs. Which side of the fence are all proofs to be on? All I care about is being on the same side with you. Mona County Election Day, with Martin Bisbee, the Sentinel's choice and favorite candidate in the race for sheriff, found an eager line of California voters waiting at the poll. And had found somebody else waiting, too. Everything's going to be all right. Mr. Butler, good morning. Oh, Miss Baldwin. Mr. Martin Bisbee, Miss Julia Baldwin, Judge Baldwin's daughter. How do you do? My father's going to hold court here for Mono County. His office is in the new courthouse, right next to yours. Well, I'm not elected sheriff yet, Miss Baldwin. I wish the women had a vote, so I could cast one for you. Why, thank you. You know, I'm going to feel very safe in Aurora with a sheriff like you. I'll do my very best. Yes, sir, and that's a fact. <laughs> you hear what I, I, I... Hey, Jonah, say, you voted yet? No, and I don't intend to. Oh, well, you sure that your duty is a citizen. I'm a citizen of Nevada. No, oh, now, listen, Jonah. Uh, this election is illegal. Oh, Tommy, right. I'll have no part of it. Well, Martin don't need your vote anyhow. Martin? Hey, Martin, sure. He's a sentinel candidate. Why, that traitor. That dirty underhand. Wait a minute. Now, don't you say nothing about my son. He's your son, all right. A double yes, dealing. Yes, sir, and you... my son is going to be elected sheriff around here. And if you show any contempt for the law, he will throw you with the who's <laughs> <laughs> Whether Jonah liked it or not, Micah's prediction about his son Martin being elected sheriff proved true. 
And in spite of the young man's protests, Micah wasted no time in hustling him over to Jonah's house so he could display the new sheriff and his badge and do a little gloating. Dad isn't here. Oh, shucks. I want him to see Martin's badge. He hasn't been home since the elections. Say, maybe you'll have to arrest him for being drunk and disorderly. Oh, I don't think that'll be necessary. You're darn tootin' it won't. Dad. Dad, are you all right? Uh, sure, I'm, I'm, I'm all right. Hey, uh, look at here, Jonah. The first sheriff of Mono County, elected by a landslide. California dirt. Dad, don't you want something to eat? No. But I've got something for you two to chew on. Nevada election is coming up pretty soon, and I'm running for sheriff of Esmeralda County. Sure, Jonah. I'll run the announcement in this week's edition. Oh, well, thanks, George. Much obliged. I, I appreciate that. I'll bet Mary Ann is mighty proud of you running for sheriff. <clears throat> well, if I'm elected. You will be, because I'm backing you. You are? Yes, sir. Jonah King is this newspaper's candidate for sheriff of Esmeralda County, Nevada. Oh, my golly. <laughs> I didn't think he'd ever go through with it. He's just making a fool of himself. Oh, I wouldn't say that, Martin. He'll make a good sheriff if he's elected. I believe you hope he will be elected. Well, naturally. And make a fool out of me. Oh, no, Martin. Oh, yes, he will. He'll do his best to. Now you're talking just like your father. Sorry, Martin. I didn't mean that. Martin! Oh, Dad. Why did you have to do it? The Esmeralda County election was just like the Motor County election, except it was a week later. The candidates were different. And the voters were different. Or should I say, most of the voters were different. Hey, Micah! You can't vote. Why not? I'm 21. You've already voted once in the Mona election. I'm going to vote again against you. You get out of that line. It's illegal. You ain't the sheriff. Not yet. Well, I'll go and fetch me one. Hmm. Sheriff, I got a little duty for you to perform. The fellow over there at the polls is stuffing the ballot box. Oh, he is, is he? Freedom rough, Sheriff. Yeah. There's your man, Sheriff. Now haul him out before he breaks the law by voting twice. Dad. Howdy, son. Yank him out of there. He ain't a going to. Yeah. Well, California might not be particular, but Nevada is. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Pop. He's got your whipsaw. No, there are a lot of others voted twice. I can swear to it. <laughs> come on, come on. Doggone that, Jonah. One of these days, he's going to make me mad. Good morning, Martin. Why don't you go and laugh with him? Have a real good laugh at my expense. Oh, no. Your father wouldn't try to make a fool of me. Only in front of the whole town. Well, what do you mean? Fixed it so my first job as sheriff is to take my own dad in tow. What were you doing? Well, you can just bet that if I'd have been voting for your pop, he wouldn't have had me ousted. Oh. Well, you should have been. Huh? After all, you're my father's partner. He deserves your support. But he already voted once for me. Then he deserves to be arrested. Voting twice, that's illegal. I think my father was completely right. Well, I'm glad to know which side of the fence you're on. Martin, please. I love you both. You've got to be on one side or the other. Why? Because there's a line coming through here separating California and Nevada. Mono and Esmeralda counties. But not you and me. Not us, Martin. Which is it? All right, I have your answer.
Well, the votes have all been counted, and you're now looking at the sheriff of Esmeralda County. Yep, thanks to good old George here and his campaigning in the Star. I did my best, but we had a great candidate. <laughs> well, ain't you going to congratulate me? Of course, Dad. It's wonderful. <laughs> How about a kiss for the newspaper? Sure. Oh, that's a California kiss. This is the way we kiss in Nevada. Hello. Oh, hello. I was just going over to see Father and happened to notice you as I passed your door. Why don't you sit down? Oh, no thanks. I can just stay a minute. Uh, have you seen this week's Sentinel? I uh, know I haven't. Just so happens I have one here. Look on the front page what the editor says about the editor of the Star. Supported Jonah King in his recent campaign for sheriff for purely personal reasons, to wit, Mr. King's pretty daughter. From our observation, Mr. Alvord is being well rewarded for his efforts. How dare Jim Butler make a charge like that? Why, it's libelous. Oh, but Father says that libel is something that isn't true. And this is true. Martin, everyone in Aurora knows they're going to be married. Married? It's scurrilous. It's dastardly. I demand a public retraction and apology. I retract nothing. Then I shall have to defend the lady's name with my honor. A duel? Within the hour, sir. Well, and the weapons? Your privilege. Shotguns, loaded with ball. George Alpert and Jim Butler are fighting a duel in the vacant lot behind the corral. Well, hurry, Martin. If your friend Mr. Albert wants to get himself killed, it's no concern of mine. Dueling oh. is illegal in California, too. Then you admit Aurora is in California. I admit nothing of the kind. But if I want... Oh, stop arguing and get out there before they're both killed. <laughs> Ten paces, turn and fire. We'll count together. Ready? Ready. One, two, three, four, five, six. Stop! Seven, eight. Hold it! Nine, ten. Are you hurt, Dad? No, I just nicked my shin bone. You're lucky I only winged you. You had no business fighting a duel anyhow. I have a good mind to arrest you under the laws of California. And you're subject to arrest under the laws of Nevada. I was defending a lady's reputation. Thank you. What about the reputation of Aurora? You didn't stop to think about that. Hey, don't you know the county seat? Of, uh, uh, you're both a disgrace to it. <clears throat> uh, see that no mention of this gets into the paper. Uh, either paper. Hey, son, did you hear the news? Uh, uh, what news? Why, why, the boundary commission, uh, the, the, the boundary joint... Uh, well, you go ahead and tell him. Why, the joint commission appointed to survey the boundary line between California and Nevada will announce their decision on July 4th. Decision? About what? Well, about the fourth of July, the, the commission, the gun. You go ahead and tell him. He's so ignorant I can't talk to him. Why, about Aurora? Yeah, at last we're going to find out just which side of the fence Aurora is on. The sooner the better. Hmm. As the boundary line moved steadily south, excitement reached fever pitch in Aurora. And the arguments between Jonah and Micah over their claim drove them to court. Judge! Yes? Yeah, me and my partner here have been having a little difficulty. About a mining claim. Yeah, we figured to settle it. In court. Uh, which court? Nevada? Or California? Uh, Judge Baldwin holds sessions here regularly. Uh, and so does Judge Turner. It's up to the litigants to decide which they prefer. And Nevada? California? Why don't you retire and talk this over privately? 
Now, that won't do no good. My, we ain't agreed on nothing ever since we was partners. Back in 49. Then I guess the only thing to do is wait until the boundary survey reaches Aurora and uh, let it be decided for you. If I can put up with this fella here for that long, God... You mean if I can put up with you that long? You're always the one to start all the arguments around here. What about the last time? When will you give me your answer, Mary Ann? You know how much I love you. I was willing to die for you. Remember? So help me, it's the truth. <laughs> oh, darling, you're so cute. <laughs> I won't keep you waiting any longer, George. I'll marry you. You will? I'm going to publish the announcement in this afternoon's paper before you change your mind. With the survey line pointed directly at Aurora, a messenger has been sent out to get the lowdown. <laughs> Here. Aurora's in Nevada! question now definitely and finally settled, and with Sheriff Jonah King and his deputies upholding law and order, Esmeralda quieted down to a more peaceful town. But the decision on the boundary dispute also meant moving day for the California officials. We're back in the Mona County records, moving them up. Where to? Oh, New County seat, little town, way over the mountains. Well, aren't you going to say goodbye? Goodbye. Oh, you will be coming back again. Afraid not. Not ever? Aurora's out of my baby wick now. But Martin... And a long way from where I'm going. Uh, but Let's Martin... go. Here! Martin! Martin, please! Let him go. <laughs> What father says. Then you'll marry me tomorrow? In California, if you want me to. I've got a better idea. Martin Bisbee, Mary Ann King. Mary Ann King, Martin Bisbee. I pronounce you man and wife under the laws of the state of California and the territory of Nevada. still some folks who claim the air smells sweeter and the sun shines brighter on one side of the state line than the other. But most of them today are plumb satisfied just to be in the United States. 